Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, March 6th, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am present to integrate the mystery of the now. And the overall message of the day that I'm feeling in this energy is, grow where you are planted. Which is really interesting because we start the day with the moon. Uh, in Gemini, connecting with Mars. Mars is in Aries. Mars is finishing up in Aries. And so that Mars and Aries energy is like, go, go, go. <laughs> Troops out. Come on, let's go. Let's move forward. This meeting is happening at 27 degrees. We have Saturn also still, still newly at 27 degrees in Sagittarius. So that two plus seven is nine. That nine energy is one of Mars. It is one of passion. And so even though we have this you know, feeling of passion with these connections, with these energies, there's still this energy of like, wait, you don't have to move for your passion. You've got to let that passion grow inside you, within you. Now, where I think that's connecting in with the astro is all this Pisces stuff that we have going on. Is Venus newly retrograde? Jupiter, not so newly retrograde, but still working that retrograde process. And the fact that we have the moon shifting into Cancer, and that moon shifting into Cancer tomorrow, so on Tuesday, is bringing the return of the cardinal square. <laughs> the cardinal, you know, signs interacting, tug of warring, stretching each other, that tightening energy that we go in and out of and will be in and out of. So Tuesday is going to be an interesting day, as well as the moon in Cancer bringing along a bit of a grand trine in water. So lots of emotions are coming up because we don't have enough with all the Pisces stuff going on. So we get kind of a preview of this um, grand trine energy as we have, as this, you know, moon in Cancer is bringing up the feelings, making us feel. I feel like this is part of why we need to stay still is because there's feelings that want to surface. And a lot of times we're like, I'm going to go, I'm going to move, I'm going to do the things. That's a form of avoidance. <laughs> it can also be a form of avoidance to be like, I'm not going to go anywhere. But that's the overwhelming feeling that I get. Like, grow where you're planted because there's some good nutrients in this soil. There's some good nutrients in this dirt. There are some good nutrients in these feelings that are surfacing. So we have to sometimes be still, integrate, allow the mystery of this, of the now. <laughs> allow the mystery of the now. I like rhyming. Um, <laughs> I should be a rapper because I like rhyme so much. So beyond this, uh, the moon moving into Cancer today, we have the sun connecting to Mercury. This is at 16 degrees. That is a seven. So seven energy is that Pisces energy. So mysteries want to come through. These energies are being, not, I'm not, I don't really feel like it's being downloaded. I feel like these energies already came in and were downloaded with the Pisces eclipse, but we're, we're opening to them because we're being planted. We're staying still. We're like, okay, here I am in this moment. I'm, I'm going to let this come through. I'm not going to try to understand it. That's kind of not, that's kind of movement, you know, to, the trying to understand, the like grasping and like pulling at the root of like, I'm going to understand this thing if it takes all day. I know that feeling so well. That That's me 100% in a lot of cases. Um, it's also not like research, research, research. <laughs> it's not about that. It's like, okay, it's the be still and know I am energy that's really wanting to come through in all this. And this will expand us and grow us and prepare us for that, you know, that energy coming tomorrow, that cardinal T-square stuff. It's intense, that T-square. You know, it pulls us. It's uncomfortable. Um, so by being still today, we're allowing the waters to move through us. We're allowing the emotions to move through us. We're allowing what needs to be processed to be processed. Again, I also am getting the feeling with the sun conjunct junk mercury that this is a release of some things that you already have come to understand but maybe have not been able to fully release from your consciousness so the universe is going to be like that weed's gone good work you did that so watch for those where you suddenly feel that lightening within yourself like oh oh that thing oh my gosh I feel so much better so the last aspect that I want to talk about today is Lilith trine palace so we've got Lilith and when I talk about Lilith, I do talk about the true Black Moon Lilith. That's the one that I feel. I do astrology based on my experience. I do astrology based on how I feel it and then based on what the universe tells me. And that's the one I feel. I don't feel the mean one as much. I think that's more of an intellectual Lilith, but I go for the feeling Lilith because 
that's Lilith. <laughs> anyway, she is in uh, Scorpio at 21 degrees, and Pallas is in Pisces at 21 degrees. And so this is an interesting, you know, connection. <laughs> also bringing through emotions. Lilith in Scorpio is empowering the primal feminine. I feel like Lilith in Scorpio is empowering the uncontained movement of yin energy. Um, you know, you know what's another interesting way of putting like the yin and the yang energy is the animus and the anima. And I love that. You know, the the anima, the the feminine, the yin energy, that's the soul and it's nurturing. And this, that the anima is like it's chaos at times. And Lilith can bring that chaos, especially Lilith and Scorpio. Lilith and Scorpio to me is like kind of a bit of Pandora's box. And like, what's in this box? We got to deal with it. So yeah, Lilith and Scorpio is cleaning out your basement and your attic in this case, being in Scorpio. So we can move past these things, these, these boxes they're taking up space in our attic and in our basement. And so Lilith is moving them. And as she's moving them, it's connecting to this palace energy. Palace is always so interesting. Palace Athena. Palace, the wisdom warrior, is what I really call her. But palace, astrologically, attunes to patriarchal energy. And so I think this is like releasing, releasing some of these old blocks coming in with the dust buster and being like, do you still need to abide by this thing which is keeping you in this box? Do you want to be in this box anymore? And Lilith and Pallas are like, no. <laughs> and, you know, it's like sometimes when you clean out your closet, at first there's a little bit of chaos. Emotionally, that energy may come up in you today. Don't run from it. Grow where you're planted. Work with this stuff that's coming up. It has elixir for you. It has medicine for you. It has healing for you if you're willing to if you're willing to sit in and tune and be with what's here for you, this emotional process, it's a major thing. The Aries might make us want to run, but you'll get the most from it and be able to move through it faster if you can sit with it. Look at these cards. <laughs> Tuning in and laziness. And both of these are water cards. And from this place, look where we're going. Mastery and into an expansion and sharing of our light on a higher level. So this card, I've got, it's just so funny, new vision in reverse. And so this is like, you don't have to go hunting for the answers. You don't have to know what's wrong with you. You don't have to know all those things. Just be with it. The answers are within you because you are this master. So this is an excuse to get lazy in the form of presence. Um, so we don't need to go searching for the answers. And I love, it's so funny. So this card, I pulled the two of swords from the inner child cards, fairy tale tarot. Somebody asked who they are by, uh, Aisha Lerner and Mark Lerner. So I love these cards. I've had them for forever and they're just talking to me so much. So funny. I pulled this card, the two of swords, but I was also distracted. I had just gotten a text and I was half reading it and I was like, oh, that card kind of goes with what I was just reading. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to reshuffle and pull another card and pull it again. I was like, okay, fine. Let me read it. And then I read it and I was like, okay, I get it. Um, so I'm going to read the whole thing because it was insistent on coming out. Fencing and dueling are popular sports and art forms that require skill, balance, and grace. They involve lucid and quick movements coupled with the insight and awareness to yield and surrender to one's opponent. Sometimes our opponent are those emotions. The two of swords can be like so mental. It's like those pesky emotions. Um... Potentially, our mind can function in this fashion. However, in our stressful culture we'll, where dualistic thinking reigns, we inevitably get entangled in indecision and self-doubt. Resolving life's conflicts can become agonizing feats of battle. We often remain unyielding or unable to surrender to a difficult situation put, behind, be put before us. Grow where you're planted. <laughs> Love this. This card offers the perspective that our mental, mental conflicts can be experienced as a sport in which balance and wholeness are priority. All of life is divided into opposites. Yin and yang. There we have the integration energy. Male, female, light, dark, joy, sorrow. We must know one side in order to learn its polar complement. 
This is why we've got to be with these feelings that are coming up. They're pointing to something special for us. The cross swords represent the mental conflict. The radiant sun behind the swords is a reminder of the wholeness that overlights any form of dualism. It may be a time in your life when you're making new decisions or in search for answers of old problems. Move towards your light and wisdom. Come within. Move away from needing to know. Come within. Let the answers emerge like a great sunrise. That reminds me of that sharing card right there. Allow old worries to sink into the past like a poignant sunset. Clarity will come as you gently yield to the moment. Oh my gosh. Integrating the mystery of the now. It comes full circle and all connects. So this is our work for today as we build into this cardinal T-square. Some of you guys may be feeling that a little in advance as we build into it. It's okay. We've got this. We've been through this, you know, so many times so far this year. It's going to be continuing onward. We're okay. We can do this. So feel your way through, and I will see you all tomorrow. Namaste.